Hello, hello, a sunny afternoon here at the end of rainy season in Costa Rica. Uh, today is an, a fun video, an interesting video, an informational video, but for me, super fun and rewarding and fulfilling. Uh, I live in the land of cacao. My property is not only surrounded by just naturally occurring cacao trees, but there are many farms up the mountain for me in San Gerardo, San Miguel, Mastatal, that are world renowned for the quality of the coffee that's been growing here since ancient times, literally since the Aztecs and the Incans were passing through Costa Rica to get um, to other civilizations to communicate with, barter with, trade with. This has been going on, what I imagine, for thousands of years, even before any of our history writ about any of the people indigenous to this area. So. I've done some studying over the past couple of years. The reason this is so exciting for me is because for the past few years, I've just been planting baby trees and finally this year everything is fruiting, but I can also begin pruning them so that they can fruit even more and I don't damage the you know, baby trees by overcutting them and over pruning them. Sometimes we can do that and kill things. So I've tried to resist pruning certain trees until it's been established for two or three years. They start fruiting, so I know the root systems are strong. Uh, as you've seen in an earlier video this year, uh, I started pruning a lot of the coffee trees and they've been pumping out coffee beans like at this point by the thousands. Now I'm gonna start harvesting them this and next month, drying them and, and uh, so on and so forth, fermenting, we should say drying and then um, processing into our own ground coffee here and the same is going to happen with the cacao in the coming year 2025 but for now because everything's starting to fruit and I'm actually getting to eat the cacao on a weekly basis now today you're going to see me pruning them with our two tools the regular little pruner and then a trusted saw to get the thicker heavier stuff so before I start and I'm going to show you when I'm by the trees from my studying and I'm no expert and I'm not a, a multi-generational farmer, let alone a cacao farmer like some of the uh, Ticos are here. So pardon me if I do make mistakes, but I do like to study what the people uh, who have been doing this for generations do so that I can then adapt to what's right and what's proper and what's tried and true and tested and experimented with and refined um, through centuries and, and generations of these families doing it. So thank you to everybody on YouTube and to everybody up the mountain and Iguana, everybody who shares all of your cacao um, techniques with the world. I appreciate you. I'm just trying to share that love with any of my followers or anybody who stumbles upon these videos in the future. Hopefully I provide some knowledge and some light so that your life becomes easier and more brighter. But anyway, Three things I've learned, or I should say the three things that we have to cut off on cacao trees are actually very similar to what I learned about the cafe, or the coffee. I'm sorry, I'm speaking in Spanish mostly every day. So uh, anything that we call is a water shoot, which are basically vertical shoots that are coming out usually of the base of the tree that basically are competitive with the main shoot that's growing all of the fruits uh, we have to cut those off because we don't want any competition for nutrients and energy and also sunlight. So those would be one of the ones we cut off. I also learned that anything, any branches that are facing into the tree, so only branches that face outward from the trunk of the tree are good. Anything that's kind of curving in or on a side shoot that's now either facing back or uh, perpendicular, we want to cut off so that, you know, again, nutrients can be conserved for um, the fruiting branches. And the final one is um, any vertical shoots that are coming off the top. And I'm trying to think, oh, and any low shoots, anything low, uh, because you wanna kind of create a canopy that you can walk through so that you can easily harvest without having to like navigate low branches. So those are the ones I'm gonna be going at. If I've forgotten anything and you're a cacao expert, please let me know in the comments because I'm here learning and growing. I am not an expert. I am experimenting in a laboratory as a scientist. This, yes, is my magnum opus, but all these little pieces are ways to refine all of the facets of this magna, magnum opus so it becomes a shining diamond. Right now, it's a diamond in the rough for anybody who's been following my journey here. 
thankfully, I have all the facets. Now it's just a matter of polishing them and perfecting them so this gem that is the jungle temple can shine as a beacon of light for the world and inspire others to do similar and grow food forests and learn how to do it properly so that not only is it surviving, but it's also super fruitful and healthy. You know, we want to raise our plants like we would raise children or, or take care of our pets or even our own body. We want to construct it and architect it properly so that it grows properly. So that said, Thank you guys for tuning in, and here is how to prune cacao trees from the Jungle Temple with your host, Tobin. Thank you. All right, so here's the first tree I'm gonna start doing, and you can see we're growing lots of fruit already, and there's a lot tucked in there. So I'm gonna clear this up so these guys can get a lot of nutrients and really start pumping out. You can see there's some bigger ones down there. All right, so we're gonna make these more accessible and I'm gonna trim back any of these branches that are kind of pointing back into the tree. These ones, these little verticals are gonna come out and it's gonna take me some time because I haven't done this yet. So uh, bear with me. I'm gonna put the camera at another angle, static, and you guys can follow the journey and comment your criticisms below what I missed, what I should do next time because this is a never ending process. So thank you for any advice and guidance. I love you. Yeah, let's see. This one's growing back in. I have to come off. Let's see. That one can go. That one. Hi, little lizard. All right, we're just gonna show you my friend here. Ready? You see the little lizard? Say hi, buddy. So those are the friendly guys. I just gotta keep an eye out for snakes, you know what I mean? Life in Costa Rica. All right, let's continue. Who's next? This guy can go. Um, this guy, this guy. You know what? I think that whole thing's gonna go. So here, the bigger one, bow, bow. That can go. Let's see who else. Who else? It can go. That can go. Hey, looking better already, right? It may look like I'm destroying the tree, but it's like giving it a haircut. You know, it looks better after, it's more productive, more confident, grows better, more fruitful. So it's a good thing. We need to do this. 
We need to prune fruits, flowers, because they become more productive after. There's more energy and nutrients able to be sent to the areas that are growing the fruits. All right. Basically, anything that's growing back into the tree to eventually limit sunlight from coming in. So, all right, I've kind of reached my limit in this section. I'm gonna move on to another section, keep looping around. Let's see if I can find a little prop for the phone on this side. All right, give me one moment. One cacao, another cacao, and then I've got a few more to do elsewhere. Okay, let's see, let's see. All right, that's a branch that came off. We'll continue to do the cut. How's it looking? A little more clear. Pretty. in there. Clearing it up and look at all that cacao, huh? So much coming in. So now it's gonna have much more opportunity for those guys to acquire sunlight, water, and uh, yeah, got a little more to do, but thank you guys for tuning in and checking out. Look at all that beautiful cacao. Some of these lower ones I'm gonna harvest, let them dry up for a couple days. And then the fruit is ridiculously tasty. I am not a huge chocolate fan. I am a cacao fan. I am growing all of this so that we can have artisanal chocolates on our property cultivated. Any guests that come here in the future, volunteers, partners, en español, socios, podemos hacer tratos para productos aquí. Estoy creciendo muchas comidas, alimentos orgánicos. So there's much opportunity if somebody wants to start a chocolate business, a coffee business, I'm growing it. You just got to come in here and work on the processing of it. We could have a nice partnership. Let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to continue this one. I'm going to go continue a few more, but I just wanted to do a quick little highlight video on how to prune properly cacao trees. As you've seen, I've started taking out all the shoots that were kind of stealing energy and not allowing sunlight to come in. 
thank goodness I have a ton of cacao already, but now we're gonna have even more. So if you're growing cacao, here are some tips that will help you and hopefully uh, you become more fruitful as a result of seeing this video one way or another. Tuning out, come visit guys, let me know, reach out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Tobin Osuski on all aspects. Pura Vida. Okay, all pruned up. Look at all the cacao we have already. So this is gonna be much more fruitful soon. So again, what I was cutting was any branches that were aiming downward or that were aiming into the tree or into other branches to prevent growing and creating more shade. And then also any shoots that were coming up from the bottom, thankfully this one didn't have it. I got rid of them pretty early on, but this other guy, I was letting survive because I almost killed him over pruning when I first got him, her. You'll see I, I did a bit of over pruning simply because I was trying to, I am trying to steer the growth away from this house structure here. This is like where my bedroom is, <laughs> but this will be two cacao trees and eventually this will be a screened in little porch. I'll have some furniture here and stuff, but for now it's just concrete slab with the pillars. And then eventually there will be a walkout, a little hangout area there, screened in. Long-term development. <laughs> My house will extend probably all the way until the tennis court. And there will be a little stairwell that comes down from my house so I can get directly into the tennis court. This will be sort of um, like a breezeway where there will be, you know, concrete walkways carved through, but there will only be a deck, a second level deck that will take us over to the concha for direct access to the sports court. For now, the dog park. I have some pineapples growing here, so I'd like to keep a lot of the things that are planted here. And like I said, do kind of a, a walkway above a bridge and then a breezeway through here with all the food. And then of course the cacao trees are gonna be growing up along the side of the, uh, bridge one day so that will be pretty fun so anyway back to the present you'll see I trimmed a lot of the bigger branches that were facing the house so this is encouraged to grow away from the house now she doesn't have any fruits yet but I've cut off all of the in facing ones these were actually big water shoots that I didn't cut off the first year you can see they started a low growth and they've kind of doubled up are equated to the size of uh, the original root or trunk, I should say. But now I almost cut this one too. I was like, you know what? That's a good one because this has got some outward facing branches. So they'll just be a, this will be like a twin, twin trunker. But I cut those middle ones out because they were only going to cause problems of, you know, side shoots in the future. And you could see they're really vertical. So I got rid of them, kept all these guys to go out outward and you can see we actually have a little baby cacao flower coming in here so this will have fruits this year and now many more because it's getting more sun so that's how we prune cacao oh this guy's ready to be harvested so i'm gonna harvest this one and i'm gonna eat that a little later Woohoo! fresh cacao who wants to come make chocolate with me come on down okay that's it today I'm gonna go crack into this, have a little snack, and then I've got about eight other cacao trees I've gotta go prune. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you're growing cacao, hopefully this helped. If you're not, shop at thejungletemple.com. We might have artisanal cacao products in the future or chocolate products. But if you're near Perita in Costa Rica and you're passing through and you just want some cacao fruit, I'm selling those now already. So 2024, we're at the end of it. Come 2025, I'm gonna have abundant fruits all the time so anybody that sees this if you're passing through perita come through the jungle temple say hi to the dogs support my dog rescue but at the same time come grab some fresh fruit or if you live here come and grab some seedlings and plant them on your own property peace